Well, it's super spacey, but it's also really rough. It's fun, it's weird. People said, oh, you can't, it'll never work. An easy way to think about a shoe is an upper that holds you on the platform, the midsole, which provides you cushioning and a footbed to stand on, and the outsole, which gives you durability and traction. Take Space Hippie, the midsole we call crater foam because we've added rubber and plastic wakes from the manufacturing process, and that waste material makes that imperfect or bubbly texture on the surface of the part. Crater foam looks like garbage mixed with blue putty. <laughs> And then we wanted to layer in this additional element. This is the Zoom X. So this is the stuff that's going into basically the our fastest running shoes, right? It's what Elliot Kipchoge was wearing when he broke the two-hour marathon. A barrier once thought impossible is now broken. Elliot Kipchoge is the first sub two-hour marathoner. When we made that material, it resulted in voice that we knew we needed to find another use for. What we wanted to do was see if we can infuse those into the shoes that we were creating. What you get is this incredible feel underfoot. It's so bouncy. It's the kind of foam that is usually reserved for a super elite marathon shoe. <laughs> On two of the shoes is the outsole, and we call that crater rubber. What you get is a really speckly, really grainy, really coarse looking rubber, and it matches up really nicely with the midsole. The upper is basically recycled bottles, recycled material scraps from the factory, recycled post-consumer waste as well. We processed it without heat. We just shredded it up, spun it together, and you get a yarn that just doesn't require as much energy to make. It was crazy. The space of being knit uh, looks like dryer lint. You can have dark lint or you can have light lint. Once we had the upper and once we had the bottom, game on. Now we've got a mission. <laughs>